should you upgrade to the new Eero Pro 6E from the old dual band Eero 5s. Now the Eero 5 isn't the official name, that's kind of just what I call them. Well, that's what we're gonna find out in this video. But before we do that, I need to perform some speed tests with these old Eeros. So the way my network is set up is one Eero is plugged into the fiber line access point and the other is on a different floor being used basically as an extender. The internet service is a one gig fiber line and the Eero 5s were supplied by the ISP. I'll take a wired measurement at the main Eero right there at the access point. Take a Wi-Fi measurement again at the access point and keep in mind, the type of Wi-Fi chip that you have in your device will also affect the maximum speed. Of course, later iPhones will have upgraded uh, Wi-Fi chips. Then we'll do a Wi-Fi test on a Fire TV that is on a different floor. I'll do a wired test on a desktop that is on a different floor and plugged into the Eero extender, meaning that this Eero is not connected directly to the fiber, it's just extending or repeating the signal from the main arrow that is plugged into the fiber access point. Let's get a Wi-Fi reading on the MacBook from the Eero extender that is on a different floor. And finally, we'll get a Wi-Fi reading from the Eero extender on a different floor for the iPhone. All right, great. So now we'll check out the Eero Pro 6e. Let's take a look at the box real quick. Of course, feel free to pause if you want to read this. Let's pop open the box. Now this is a two pack, so of course there's two Eros. All of your cables are in this box. You'll get a quick start guide, your power supplies, and a short ethernet cable. The Eero Pro 6Es have two ethernet ports on the rear, a 2.5 gig and a one gig, and the USB-C port is for your power supply. Here's a quick look at the instructions. All right, let's go ahead and get this hooked up. First, make sure you have the Eero app on your phone. I already have it. If you don't, of course, just download it from the App Store. Then disconnect your old Eeros. Open up the app, hit the plus. And in this case, we want to add or replace. Then choose replace. Select the Eero you want to replace. Now I'll end up doing both of these, but let's start with the main Eero. Make sure you turn the Wi-Fi off on your phone and also make sure you have some available data left on your phone plan. Then disconnect your old Eero, which we've already done, and also disconnect the power from your modem or access point. Then connect the ethernet cable to the Eero Pro 6E. I'll also connect the power cable while I'm back here, but of course don't plug it in yet. Then connect the ethernet cable to the modem or access point and connect the power supply. Then we'll plug in the Eero Pro 6E. And we have power. All right, so once the light on the Eero is flashing white, I'll hit next. It's gonna search for the new Eero and set it up. And that's it, we got it. Super simple setup process. Now I'm going to replace the other Eero that I have on a different floor and the process will be exactly the same. All right, got that done. So now we need to update the Eero devices and you might as well just do this now. So just leave it alone and let it do its thing. Boom, that's it folks, we're all done. Super simple setup process. All right, so now we need to test the speed of the Eero Pro 6E. We're gonna start with the MacBook wired directly to the Eero that's connected to the access point. And look at that, man. We are getting a huge increase in speed. With the old Eeros, we were topping out around 350 down and 200 up, while the Eero Pro 6Es were getting over 900 down and almost 800 
hundred up. Now, once again, this is a one gig fiber internet plan. So if your internet is kept at 75 megabits per second, 100, 200, 300, et cetera, then of course you're not gonna see speeds of 900 because your ISP doesn't support it. So if your internet plan is capped at say 25 megabits per second, don't buy the Pro 6E thinking it's gonna give you 500 megabit per second speeds because of course it won't. The Pro 6E won't give you any faster speeds than what your internet plan is capped at. All right, so just keep that in mind. Then we'll test the old iPhone on Wi-Fi. Now keep in mind that when I filmed this video, I didn't have any Wi-Fi 6 devices, all right? So we're really only testing the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. If you have 6 gigahertz 6E capable devices, then of course you should see even higher Wi-Fi speeds. But once again, much faster Wi-Fi speeds with the Pro 6E. Next is the Amazon Fire TV that again is on a different floor and over Wi-Fi. So it's connected to the secondary extender Eero and there's a couple walls in between the Eero and the TV as well, all right? Not to mention an entire floor between the main Eero and the secondary Eero. But once again, we're still getting higher Wi-Fi speeds with the 6E. And you know what, why not? Let's go ahead and test an Xbox over Wi-Fi that's in the same room as the TV. And we're getting plenty of speed over Wi-Fi to download games and even stream to Twitch. Of course, you should always plug your Xbox in for the highest speeds, but again, over Wi-Fi, we're doing just fine here. Next, we'll test the MacBook over Wi-Fi connected to the secondary Eero that's again on a different floor. And look at that, we're getting about 350 down and about 630 up, which is about three times faster on the download and about 10 times faster on the upload, which just is, you know, is just insane. So let's move on to the desktop that is connected with an ethernet cable to the secondary Eero. And we are just blasting away the numbers from the old Eero 5s. Now, sure, if I wanted to run a 100 foot ethernet cable from the desktop all the way down to the main Eero that's on a different floor, of course, I could get even higher speeds. But you know, as long as I'm between 300 to 500 on the download, and at least say 500 or so on the upload, that's more than fast enough for, you know, basically anything. And finally, we'll test the iPhone connected over Wi-Fi to the secondary Eero. And boom, once again, we are getting over double the speed with the triple band Eero Pro 6Es. First, the old cupcake style dual band Wi-Fi 5 Eeros, which I call the standard Eero 5s, even though that's not the, you know, the official name. So besides the increased speed, I've also noticed better Wi-Fi coverage in the house and even outside the house. So I have no problem connecting things like Blink doorbells or outdoor blink cameras that are you know way far away from an Eero. And there's also you know, three to four walls in between. So should you buy the Eero Pro 6E? And the answer is a resounding, unequivocal yes. These things are blazing fast, again, provided that you have a fast internet plan. They're super easy to set up. The app is loaded with features. You even have per device control for what's connected to your network. And Eero is always pushing out updates, so it's always getting better. Plus, with the Eero Pro 6E, you're future-proofed, you know, at least for a while, because devices with Wi-Fi 6E compatibility are only really now starting to hit the market in mass. So if you're looking at the Eero Pro 6E, I highly recommend it. You can get as many of them as you need, whether that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 20, literally whatever you need, and you don't have to be an IT technician to set them up or to use them. They cover a large area. You can connect hundreds of devices to them over Wi-Fi. Customer support is good and they are responsive if you ever happen to need them. And again, they are blazing fast. So you can actually get your money's worth from your high-speed connection. I use them all the time for gaming, streaming, uploading huge you know, 20, 30, 40, 100 gig 4K video files to YouTube in just a matter of minutes. 
I download huge, you know, 50, 80, 100 gig Xbox games, again, in a matter of minutes. You'll also have no problem with streaming TV, whether it's Prime Video, Netflix, Paramount Plus, YouTube TV, you know, whatever. You can also have all of your smart devices connected, even the ones that require 2.4 gigahertz. And by the way, the era will automatically detect the proper band for each device. So if you want to pick up the Eero Pro 6E for yourself, or of course save some money and get the dual or triple pack, I'll be sure to have links in the description below. So that is the Amazon Eero Pro 6E.